this 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 is my life right now this is what i have to deal with on a daily basis i'm not allowed to have nice things like a nice ac milan hoodie because this little bugger decides to chew the drawstrings on it don't you baxter yes you know what i'm talking about anyway hello everyone sorry for the randomness of that anyway hi i'm luter fm and this is episode 11 of the Socio Rise Alliance Youth Only Say. Thank you to everyone who's been subscribing so far. Just on a side note, if you see this this screen shaking a bit, it's because of Baxter, nothing to do with me. But yeah, thank you for everyone that's showing your continued support. I've been, last week I started doing little YouTube short videos with little clips and captions and things like that. And they've worked out really well. I've had, I've had quite a lot of subscribers due to that so thank you to the people watching the short videos thank you for watching the episodes i don't know whether you like the new format where i've got the edited version of it or you prefer the unedited version of it but yeah just let me know in the comment section one way or another which ones you like which ones you prefer but I just want to let you know that we got four players in the team of the week we got Pazard, kofi agni and galvez so that's nice to see. But yeah, we've got Bordeaux now. We're second at the moment. Only two games played though, so we can't get too overly excited. Like I said, I expect us to get by Bordeaux. But you never know. You never... Right, let's have a look at our lineup. So we've got Popov in goal, because we are having a bit of a goalkeeper crisis at the moment. We've got Galvez as right back, Diagne and Fontaine in centre defence, Bastian as left back, Drame and Viltard in midfield, Beck and Pizard on the wings, and then Kofi and Vaz up front. So let's just see how we get on. Hopefully. We'll get a point out of this game. Just to give you... No, doesn't matter. Right. We're not going to be talking about Man United this week. Nope. I'm done. As much as I wanted to back the manager, I'm just done. It's a combination of the manager and the manager. We need to get rid of all the players if we can. Start fresh, if that's even possible, which ain't going to be possible. No one's going to buy our players if they're playing rubbish. They're on high wages anyway. So it's going to be a difficult task. It's going to be like Labour taking over from the Tories and trying to get this country back on track. It's no easy task. And that'll be one of the few times I talk about something political because I don't like talking about political stuff. But it is what it is, isn't it? On the bright side, at least Liverpool's completely balls up their chances of winning the Premiership this week. So that's nice to see Arsenal still in with a shout. I think ultimately it's going to be Man City that's going to win again. But you never know. It'd be nice for somebody else to win it. Just not Liverpool. That's always my philosophy. I don't mind some of Liverpool fans, actually. There's some decent ones. Copsy, if you're ever watching this. You're a decent lad on the side games forums, but there's a few plonkers that, you know, I won't, talk, I won't name them, but yeah. If you're a Liverpool fan, please don't take it personally. I've just unfortunately had bad experiences with Liverpool. All right, Pazard's knackered. There's not much happened in this game. It's been a very quiet game with barely any highlights, which is not a bad thing when playing Bordeaux. I'll take a nil-nil draw anytime. This is this is a game we're not expected to win. So yeah, we're doing all right at the moment. Anything can happen there. They might get there. SHIT together in a second and might score, but we'll see. All right, we can't take any more players off. And we just got to hope we can just finish this game. Oh, that's so... Oh, yeah, VAR comes to our rescue. Come on. Is it going to be... It's going to be a goal or not? Yes, get in. Well done, VAR. I love VAR, mate. Uh, we've been the better team if you look at the stats, really. We've had more shots, so XG, XG's been better. That's all right. I'm not bothered about that. That's, that's good. I don't mind that. First results. First game of the episode i'll take that so yeah just uh, i just noticed this by the way i was just holidaying to the next game and uh, this come up which is a nice bit of earner for us so we get three percent of marcus transfer from to liverpool for 81 million and we get 2.44 million which is a nice bit of cash to add to the kitty i didn't even know marcus to ram user play for social i better go there you go he was there for quite a lot while actually before he went to gunchap and then gladbach and then inter so he's had a decent career he scored a lot of goals for inter that season didn't he quality players might be worth signing marcus you could probably get him cheaper than liverpool paid for him i reckon but yeah we did well out of that deal we did better than gladbach because i think gladbach only got a small percentage but then yeah, we got three million they only got one percent so whoever structured that transfer did well but yeah that'll be going into the wage budget in a second do that now actually before i forget oh i can't i've already got the maximum amount there you go just seeing if i can no nah. right it's nice to have 12 million in the bank. let's have a look at the projection we're projected to be minus two million though so we make a lot about Five, just about that, an average of five million each season. So we just sell a couple of players here and there. If we get promoted to League One, we'll be all. But 
I don't think we're going to get promoted this season. You never know, though. Right, so a lineup is basically the same, I think. There's no changes I can see. So let's just... Oh, Fatah's in for Baz. That's about it. Yeah, a bit of a boring start to the episode with that 0-0 draw, hopefully. This game is a game that I expect us to win. We are playing FC Ruin, who we beat last season. They were second in the league, though, so they're not going to be... We're going to have an easy game, but I think we'll win. Look at that. that was beautiful little techers there. Oh, nearly scored in the first minute. That could have been probably the quickest goal in League One history, then, if he scored that. Fatah. Right, Viltar. I don't know who that pass was. Too, but it wasn't one of our players. Viltar the double agents. Is he playing for Ruin on the sly? All right, Diagne sends it across to Galvez. Galvez gives it to Weisbeck. Weisbeck does a little circle around the thingamaji, as I call it. There's probably a technical term for it, but anyway. Galvez manages to get past the player, gets fouled, and we get a penalty. Get in. Well done, Galvez. Galvez is starting to become a really good right. Penalty awarded. Kofi, come on. You don't usually miss penalties. Make up for that penalty loss with that header, but doesn't go anywhere near the goal. Well, it's only been nine minutes. We've had quite a few chances already. There you go, Kofi. That's that's what I'm talking about. That's one way to rectify penalty loss. A penalty save, sorry. Why do you never see any fans in these French games? Is this like a bug or something I don't know about? There's literally no fans here. So there's, there's stewards there, but there's no fans for them to probably uh, keep in line. Why are we hiring stewards in the first place? All right. Bizarre. We could be saving money on hiring stewards. They earn quite a bit of money as well, because I know I've got a mate who's a steward, security, and he makes a fair bit of money. And, and if we've got no fans, there's no point having stewards there, is there? Over there, headed over from the corner. All right, Fatah with another corner. See if we can do better with this one. Swings it in. Great little bloody cross. Great corner that was. Beautiful header by Kofi. Kofi gets his fifth goal of the season. Free kick. Weisbeck. Oh, good save, I think that was, by the goalie. Yep, corner to us, Weisbeck with the corner. Oh, headed over by Drama. But I'm not complaining so far. Good good win so far for us, if we can carry on with this. Good performance. Great performance by the main man, Kofi. Oh, that's uh, quite concerning. I've heard of him before. Have I managed him somewhere? Leon, there you go. I knew I heard him somewhere before. Turned out all right for me in my Leon save when I did like a UFO only save with Leon. That was such a fun save with Leon because they had Bruno still there. They had a, a who was better than he is in real life. They had, they had, who else did they have? They had Dembele. They had so many good players in that Leon side from, I think it wasn't that long ago. I think it was like two or three years ago. I had a really enjoyable save with them and also Parma in Italy. It was one after the other. Brilliant saves. I did about six or seven seasons in each, with each team. I, I struggle to uh, offline saves. I struggle to keep interested in a save. I've just started a save with a level 12 team called Capri Athletic. In They're based in Bourneville in Birmingham. I will be moving to my girlfriend's in a few weeks' time, and she lives near there. And I'm going to go, I'm going to start going to watch. Cadbury's Athletic every every time they're playing at home. So next season onwards. But yeah, so that'll be fun. And then hopefully I can do some live vlogging there as well. And to my channel. And yeah, so I'm quite looking forward to that. They, unfortunately they don't have they don't have a Cadbury's Athletic shirt in my size, which is not their fault because I'm big I'm a big guy. I need at least a free XL for a football shirt. So they only do up to large. I might have to email them, see if they can do one for me for next season. But yeah. I managed to do that and then yeah so I'm on my second season with them now so I'm quite enjoying that my aim is to try and get them up into the premiership and try and win the premiership so it, it gives me something to get my teeth into as well and because it's a local team to me it, it, it encourages me to play it more but anyway I'll be back in a second yeah going back to what I was saying about Cadbury Athletic before I start this game they've had a few decent players come through there I mean they were playing when they were like kids I think Dan Daniel Sturridge was one of them. Rico Henry and Demar all played for Cabaret Athletic, but I think it's for their their youth team. So I, I did Google it because I thought this can't be true, and I googled Daniel Sturridge, and he was there when he was about up to about seven years old, and then I think he went Villa or Man City youth team from there. But you know they know they've got an eye for talent, and hopefully with Cabaret Athletic I can unearth some young players because I'm mostly just. I am buying players, I am, but eventually it will become, once I get to a certain level, say League 2, it will end up becoming youth only from them. So I'll just be, by that point, hoping my facilities will be decent enough to produce good young players. So it's going to be an interesting one. And then for FM25, once the file is released that's decent and stable enough to play at that level, I will be doing a YouTube series with Cadbury Athletic. That will be my main save after the beta and all that lot. 
So, yeah, so I'm looking forward to that. And then, like I said, I'll do some live game at Cadbury Athletic footage there. I recommend that you go, you Google Cadbury Athletic's ground. It's a beautiful, they've got a beautiful building where the, by where the pitch is. And it's just, it's such a nice, it just seems like such a nice football ground. But yeah, just Google it. Anyway, right, back to what we want to watch, which is me playing this, hopefully. So we're playing Bastia now, and they are top of the league. So we've got our work cut out for us here. And I think it's the usual lineup. Let me just check. Yep, we've got the usual lineup. So strongest team out there. Hopefully we'll have a good chance. As long as we try and put 100% in. If we lose, we lose. But I mean, I didn't think we'd draw against Bordeaux. I thought we'd get thrashed by them when we drew. So we get another draw. That'll be fine. Dosu, Dosu, by the way, is complaining about lack of match time. So I've decided to, he's on the transfer list. We've got a few agents willing to offer him out. So he'll be out the door by, well, hope probably by the next game. Deo will probably be going as well because he's just, he's not played for ages. So there's no point keeping him. Oh, good interception there by great vision by him to notice the pass. Beck, beautiful over the top cross. Bastion. Oh, Bastion with trying to do a Roberto Carlos shot. What, what did he call it? The banana shot. I swear he called I think that's what he called it. That, that free kick that Roberto Carlos scored where it just went from one way and it swiveled around the wall into the goal. It was just amazing. Oh no. 1 0 to Bastia. We are down all the way down to 8th. We've gone from 3rd to 8th. I still think we've got a chance of getting a point out of this though. Right, let's try encouraging the players. Hopefully that'll help. Look at this. Look at this for a league. Leon, Strasbourg, Auxer, Angers, Paris FC, Bordeaux, Bastia. There's some strong teams in this French league too. If we can get anywhere near the playoffs spots with all these teams in, I'll, I'll, I'll be very lucky. Oh, we just hit the post. We come out firing in this second half. We just need to get a shot on target. We'll probably go for a chance. Four shots now. None on target. Oh, here we go. Corner to them. Oh, I thought they were going to score again then. All right, Viltard. The acne. Intercepted, unfortunately. Oh, there we go. Kofi. Oh, come on, Weisbeck. He should have done better with that. Terrible miss by him. All right, let's try firing the players up. Hopefully that'll help. Some usual standout players underperforming here. Kofi being one of them. Ah, Travis will take you. Take Kofi off. Put on take. Cazada. Free kick to Bastia now. Are they going to put the exclamation mark on? I don't know. Good defending by us. Good save by Popov. Hopefully Popov can become the new regular goalkeeper because he's he's quite talented. He's got good potential. So hoping he'll stay in the team. But we'll see. Dossu bombs it down the wing. Gives it to, looks for the, the right pass. Gives it to Tete. Viltard. Yes, get in Viltard. Good goal. Good shot. Finally a shot on target and we score. As I said, we just need one chance. Right, we'll take off you. Put Deo on. We'll take Viltard off. No, we won't. We'll leave him on. I just need to swap the wingers about. Right, let's keep this... I don't mind the draw. I'm happy with the draw. As long as we don't lose. I'll be really annoyed now if they score for me after we just Come on. Hurry up. Take the corner. Good. That's good. Another game with no fans. Oh, there's one There's one fan there, I think. I don't know. Let me know in the comments section if you have this same problem playing in France. I think it's just a bug in the game. I don't think I've noticed this in other in other leagues I've played in. No, come on. Don't you dare. Ugh. Thank God for that. Right, they've got a corner. Have they just been playing with us this whole second half? Let us equalise for them to just then score. Oh, go on, Deo. Deo bombing it down the wing now. That's unfortunate. Yeah, I think it's going to end 1-1 then. That's fine. We'll take that. I don't mind another draw against one of the... I, I, I'm quite happy to draw against most of the top teams in this division and, and then just try and beat the rest of the teams. Oh, God, we've got Strasbourg next. It doesn't get any better, does it? All right, so we've had enough of Dossi. We'll accept that. All right, let's just have a look at the fixtures to see what we've got. Strasbourg next. Then, yeah, so we've got two relatively... I think two games that we can win after the Strasbourg game. Then we've got Leon and then Paris FC. Yeah. So Shendong, so we've sold him to them. But yeah, he did well last season. Eight eight goals and seven assists with a decent average rating. But like I said, he's just just not going to be playing for us moving forwards. So we've got better players now. So good luck to him in his career. But he's going, he'll still be here for the next couple of months and then going in January. Right, back to just moving around a bit. Sorry. There we go. Right. Yeah, playing Strasbourg next. Another game on bloody dreading. Such a tough league, this one. I feel like uh, there's probably tougher teams in this league than there is in League One in, in some ways, which is sound, sounds ridiculous, but it doesn't seem like there's much difference between the leagues other than obviously if you take PSG out, so to speak, of League One and compare that league to League Two, there's there's top teams in both divisions there. Obviously, Leon go, getting relegated, that was a big one, that was. If I was doing a journeyman save, taking over Leon in League Two and then trying to resurrect them, that would be a very good save to do, but I'm not doing that. So anyway, our lineup is well Tete's in midfield instead of Viltard. Viltard is injured for a few days. Should be back in a week or two, maybe less. I can't remember how long he's injured for. But other than that, it's basically the same team. Let's see how we get on. I'm big enough Strasbourg and they might actually be really rubbish. We just won't we won't be able to tell. 
They've got a decent striker partnership though by the looks of it in Godaz. Oh, I would look, but it won't let me. I'll have a look in a sec. Oh, there you go. They're already 1-0 up. Yeah, Nebo Mofiba, a Mofiba, South African player, I think. Yeah, set up by Goddard, who used to, Goddard, and he used to play for one of the teams in England. Didn't work out for him at Brentford. Still a decent, still a really good striker in League 2. And then they've got this player here called Akbar Belia, who's a brilliant centre-back who shouldn't be playing in League 2. Sergi uh, used to play for Yarl, originally from Barcelona. They've got Mankilo, who used to play for Newcastle. So where who did he used to play for a few teams not the player it wasn't a player i was thinking of but yeah as you can see they've got a very good team and they've got this player on the bench for some reason not playing a manual dutch dutch player who else can he who else he hasn't played for yet also can play for togo so if anybody wants to or and nigeria so if anybody's doing a save where you're the manager of the nigerian or togo national team maybe you could try and get him to convert and play for you instead of Holland but you'll have to be quick because I think Holland will probably end up calling them up pretty soon right 1-0 down after 4 minutes played is not the best start they I was going to be Kofi sent off they seem very uh, quick this Strasbourg team I think we're going to have difficulties against these Tete's been doing well so far 7.1 7.0 rating we've had a few shots 2 on target not none of them worth worrying about though with 0.26 xg if we somehow come back and win this game we could be back up towards this one here we want to aim to get in the playoffs at least i'm not expecting us to win the playoffs maybe because there's probably going to be teams way stronger than us but if we can get in the playoffs in the first season in league two i'll be happy with that right corner to us we just got to hope whoever gets relegated from league one they're not like an amazing team hopefully we can't have another team like leon getting relegated galvez gives it to oh we've got a penalty we haven't it's the bloody offside i thought we had a penalty there right sadly kofi not playing i don't know he's he's slightly picked up his game bizarre's not playing well though weisbeck not playing well uh maybe the wingers will have to come off i think galvez is not playing well so we'll take off galvez bizarre's picked up a bit kofi's not there has can come on hopefully vaz can bring some energy into this team oh for god's sake well I did say that we had our work cut out on this game. It's even harder now. Fontaine, you can come off. Boris, good old Boris can come on for you. Weisbeck can come off. We'll put Gossu on. Right. Oh, they've got a corner. Luckily, they've headed it over. Well, wide. Right, we've got a free kick. Oh, that was a blast of a shot that was by Bazaar. Could have done better, though. Could have given us a slight chance of getting something if he scored that. Oh, I feel like they're going to cop up here. I feel like we're going to exploit them. No, maybe not. No, 3 0. Oh, well. We were due a loss. Plus, we've got some knackered players on the pitch as well, which don't help. Uh, we're doing all right, though. Six games played, nine points. We are seventh. That's not too bad. We need to up it a little bit, though, to get in these playoff places. All right, before I go, let's just have a quick look. Yeah, so we're down seventh in the league. Six games played, two wins, three draws, and one loss. I think these draws have not helped, but then again, we were playing three good teams there. Nine points. We are three points away from getting back up to second if obviously the other teams don't play well but Bordeaux and Angus have got game oh and so have all got games in hand so anyway perfect time to save this thank you as always let me just expand this yeah thank you as always continue to please continue to watch subscribe and like the videos and I'll be back tomorrow with another episode and thanks again for your support